Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a quick action pose central base. So what that means is we are going to use one type of frame and we're going to use that frame for a variety of upper body action poses so I'm doing an arc that's where the chest will be that is where the shoulder will be the back the front the ab crunch and then of course the lower part is right there and there will be what you could say the head so essentially flatter here because I have this guy looking in this direction. So now that we have this down, we can really play around with it. So depending on what you are looking to do, first we'll just give him this important thing here. That is the adjoining delts or where the shoulders, outward shoulders are. And from this point onward, we can begin uh, going in different directions. So I can use some foreshortening, for instance, right there. And have that arm going all the way back. And in this case, I would have some foreshortening here to work alongside and have the arm just going this much further so what we can do uh, right there uh, we will sketch out the details and we will move on to one more uh, action a set of arms so if he was let's actually give this guy some kind of expression okay so so let's make it very very basic so eyes nose nose mouth chin and let's have instead of you know a straightforward you know angle we give it a little bit of a perspective in the sense that so this guy is uh, looking in this direction and the whole uh, get up seems a little larger from the from the top there just to give it another dimension and of course you could switch the direction of the placement of the head but right there we will put in the collar bone and structure give him that lat if he has that big enough lat or he can go without it and have a some sort of a chest structure or pectoral setup there of course now it will vary but we will try to keep it consistent so just a pectoral stretch that much is fine for now and then we move down and put that detail in place as well we will give him some sort of a serratus muscle group and we give him some sort of abs in the ab crunch just to make it look a little more cooler a little more realistic or give it a little more dimension for that for that matter it's just going to bring out the drawing a little more with every action that you keep throwing in in terms of his arms so now we're using that same uh, structure and I'm going and putting in that first action that we spoke about and a lot of foreshortening involved there and as you 
see that I have on so far and put in that fist and that arm is away from the body and you could keep on streamlining it making it more accurate whereas this one here as I have uh, decided so make yourself like a box like this whenever there is like that's one idea also a box that is bigger in size and smaller going backward and then within that you could add a few coils like this and then along the coils I'm putting in the forearm the bicep and I'm maintain using that flat and to keep the curves along that structure and then I put in a huge kind of a rock hard fist right there so as you see like that's one set of arms that we've given him and we use that same base now to have the delts go in a different direction and in which case however the pec structure will change and if I am to have the arms, let's say that I'm having him fling the arm backward. And in this case, the arm is flinging backward. And in that case, the arm, well, there you will just see a part of the shoulder like this you will not necessarily see the arm or you could show a bit of the other fist from the inside from the inside as in that the it will appear something like that and it will complete that particular action so it's like a forward thrust action we have done these actions in our videos more or less but of course You'll be exploring them again from time to time and it actually helps. So we had the extreme like foreshortening going there in both directions as his arms are going outward. I'm going to give him a little bit of shading here too just for more character. Some neck muscles which of course might vary again especially if it pull, pulls those arms upward. So this is essentially an exercise where the arms are staying beside the head, not like necessarily shooting upward and they can be going downward. So one more I think that we can do is, so we have this and I can have an arc going like that in that case and fist right here. So in this case, the arm would go like that and there is some foreshortening involved again whereby this transforms into a fist, <coughs> excuse me, right here and there will be the bicep going back into the delt. I hope that you can like see all that but, but that is the general idea and in this case of course the delt would be raised up a little bit and to mimic that there will be some foreshortening okay so the so in that same principle I'm going to just put in a fist right there so similar hand poses there once again we put in the base form right around there and then we went about putting in different set of arms for to achieve different set of actions so to round up and make things easy that there is the primary form that we put down so the base 
body if you will now uh, then we began constructing the first set of arms and this was a foreshortening that I used and extended hands and it appeared that way over there and it appeared in the foreshortened method over here actually so I hope that you can like see that clearly uh, and then we achieved a different set of arms there this was actually the one that I put in last and for that I brought I pretty much used that same round delt and got that fist and arm structure going and then of course using that same uh, that same base we outstretched but in that way I just changed the delt in this sense a little bit to go more freely into the pack and as you see that pretty much along the same lines I achieved a straight arm but for which of course the muscular details will differ and you will of course put in the details as we go along and since that arm was like toward the going toward the back the other delt again remaining in the same place pretty much you could bring it down a little bit but it can remain in the same place would just end up with the hand at the end just showing behind the body like that so might be confusing at first but very very fun exercise i would recommend using very light strokes throughout and that's how we just use one base body to try and achieve different action action sets just with the movement of the arms so thank you very much for watching we'll be doing more videos like these but uh, please do let us have your comments and uh, do subscribe and keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day